Hey guys, how's it going? I picked up this Trash Picks Troy Built Four Stroke Leaf Blower and it is in some dire need of some love. It looks pretty complete. I don't see anything actually missing on it. All the wand is right there. The uh, pad is tie wrapped onto it. Looks like all the straps are on it. But it has an issue. I don't know if we can save it or not, but we'll either figure out what happened to it or possibly save it. And get you popped in the stand, let's get into it. So here's the problem. Oh, there it goes. It's got a very, it was locked up. <laughs> but it sounds like it's blown up. Let's go take a look inside and see what happened. Go buzz this cover off and get it out of our way. My guess is that it threw a rod. Kind of has that feel to it. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Let's get the plug out of it. There's also a slight chance there's something on the fan side of it that's locking up too, but it kind of seems like it's in the, in the engine. Be nice if just too long of a spark plug was in it and was hitting a piston, right? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. The plug gap is totally flattened out. Something did hit the top of the spark plug. Let's go see if it spins over now. Yeah. I think we can see something down inside the plug hole though. Let's go get a light and take a peek inside. Yeah, there's a chunk of something. I don't know if you guys can see it. At about five o'clock. Chunk of, I don't know what that is. <laughs> We're gonna find out. My guess probably yeah, maybe some part of the valve. And you can see the piston moving up and down inside there. So, it didn't throw a rod, but it threw something. Let's get that little valve cover off of there. If it dropped the valve, when you take the rocker off of it, it should pop right up. and not have any valve clearance. Let's see if this one, this one's got clearance in it. This one doesn't, but it might be under compression. And this one has clearance. Hmm. Let's see if we get any compression. There's really, there's really no compression speak of but something is in there I'm gonna go probe it let's go get a little pick and we'll pick away on that right there let's go move it over to the bench it's got a little bit better lighting over here I mean, let's see if hopefully it's gonna fit in there huh that's close let's see if a magnet will grab us anything chunks of anything possibly it's whatever is in there too is just embedded right to the top of the piston But I could see something, right? Feels like right there. Oh, baby valves, huh? Mm -hmm. 
feel anything. Now it's hitting again right there. It's right at top dead center too. Let me go see if I can make a sweep and see if I can get it to go away. Actually, what is that, right? Right there, I just got something. That's a hunk of metal out of something. And that's not supposed to be in it. Is it aluminum or steel? It is aluminum. So it's a chunk of aluminum. I would have thought it would have been like valve components. It could be the, like the pistons breaking apart though. That's why the magnet didn't get it either. Yeah. Well, I say, these are shits and giggles. Why don't you just take the rest of the way apart and see what happened? I'm curious. The problem with this is I don't think the cylinder head comes off. I think you have to remove it from here and, and all the components kind of stay together. Uh, do we have to take the fan off? I don't think so. I think we can get away with getting the exhaust and the carburetor away from it. And it's got four screws on it and we might be able to pull the jug off the top of it and kind of go from there. I figure we'll attack it with power tools. So what's your guess? What do you think it is? I'm gonna, my guess is on the top of the piston where the ring is probably down, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch. I think the top lip of the piston kind of broke away. It's just my guess. Because it's aluminum, what else? Really doesn't allow us to see too much more. Carb is going to be a little. Uh, we may have to take that fan off too. There's a. Uh, the coil and stuff is on the back of it, which the screws are coming through that side. So we may have to tear the whole thing down. That's all right. I'm up for an exploration. It's not clear to counter off with the hose. Let's get that out of our way. No air cleaner. That's probably not a good help on a leaf blower. <laughs> okay, and a snow blower, but. That's not a good sign. Sucking in all that dirt would surely do it damage. And judging by the tie wrap repair that was up done up top, I don't think this machine saw very much love. Probably let that just hang like that. Can we get this whole cardboard thing out of here? All right, we have to get, I'll show you. Yeah, you can see the, the coils bolted in from that direction. And we're gonna have to get access to that hardware and this head's gonna have to go to slide off and it's not gonna happen with that coil running into this stuff. I don't think anyway, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go cut a bunch of this tie wrap crap off, get it out of her way. Thing was made, it's not very old. I'd call that a, a 2015 model, this is 2022 so and who knows how long it was thrown away, but or last run, I should say. But that's only seven years from now. Yeah, let's cut off this nonsense. That one's not even connected to anything. All right, let's go. So it looks like the steel broke off of there and there and they just tie wrapped it back on. Let's buzz them out of the way. We'll get this whole netting out of the way. I already disconnected the tube. The wires are still hooked up, but you know, that was kind of clearing the bench off as we were moving around, so. Getting smaller. 
so she said all right let's get it looks like we have to split yeah that's not gonna help us any looks like we got to split the blower all the way around with all those screws let's go swap over to that other one is that right yeah You got it. There we go. More stuff out of our way. I don't see that. The beam didn't look like it was hitting anything. So, <laughs> but that's not good. So we need to get the fan out. It looks like we got four screws, kind of the same. Which I don't know if it'll clear it. I'm gonna find out right now. There's a bolt in the center too, so we might be able to remove that. But let's go see if. We still have to get this housing off of that. And how was that held on? <laughs> There's gonna be nothing left by the time we're done with this. Let me get you looking where we're looking. Uh, can we get rid of this gas tank and carb? I think we just did. Yeah. Let's make a little elbow room here. So we got, looks like these four, no, those two, that's kind of goofy. That one right there, I hope it's not, you have to split the engine and get to that one. That would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? No, right there. Can't reach. I'm too stubby. It's like we're doing those by hand. If they pop loose. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It's down fairly deep too, you know. It's that's how far we have to go. Oh, we're 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 kind of. I don't know because that's the shoulder that's hitting. Almost wants to go. <laughs> Let me go see if I can find something better. I do believe it has Loctite on it. Because I decided to just man up and hit it with my purse. I think that one just slipped. Oh boy. You ever get the feeling there's no use serviceable parts in there? I might have to whittle down one of these on a grinder so it'll fit down in the hole. Except by the puddle on the bench, it's starting to piss out of oil. So while I'm flipping it around, she's doing her thing. Let's get the whatever's left of the oil out of it. We'll kind of take out a urine sample. Let's see what it looks like. At least there's oil in it. Again, it doesn't hold very much. But definitely looks like it's factory. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not. Uh, got a little bit of ring, rainbow colors in it too of the metal. So something was chewing itself apart. All right. As we were, we need to get something set up to get those screws out. I might do it. She fit. Where's the hole? Yeah. One of them I got out, didn't I? Not that one. Free 
freedom. I think. Anything else is holding on. We've got some wires right there. Let me go get a pair of little nippers and we can squeeze them together. Try to push it back through. There we go. All right, that's out of our way. Getting closer. Now we should be able to get to the back side of this thing. What do we need to get this out of here? Let's take that coil right off. Not with that one, you know. It could be self-explanatory the way the wires went because it can only go one way. And that's just going to be a kill switch across those two anyway. All right, let's. I like to get this cardboard thing out of our way if we can. We got a throttle cable that's just stuck in there. Come on, it'll come out. Nope. That's probably got like a clip or a pinch you gotta hit too. Yeah, right down in the bar. They're definitely made for the ease of putting together, not taking apart, you know? Uncurling the. Can we spin it out of there? Will that work? Pardon me while I remove that. It looks like if we take those three screws out, this whole plastic piece, it's got to come off anyway. So let's get rid of that. And that could all stay right where it is, hopefully. I'll strip it out. Uh -oh. Make sure we're using the right one. It is. I like using the impact because the impact is it that shot for when the stuff is loctited together. See the loctite on it? Well, that's already stripped out, so we're gonna have to go with some other kind of apparatus on that one. It also is a regular screwdriver tip. We're gonna have to get one that fits in there quite good and get that out of there. Yeah, that's gonna have to come off to pretty much lift the head off anyway. I'll get it, I'll get it. If I have to drill it, I'll get it. Next size up. Ha! I think we'll leave that together to put it back in. And that should get that out of the way for us. <laughs> Look at the size of the intake. Puny. All right, we need to. Could probably take them off, or we just lift the head off with them. Let's see if we can get, again, this is gonna be a problem. 
definitely have to add to my shopping list a uh because they're probably gonna be locked tight too oh yeah i'm not gonna be able to get the bit in there you know so what's your thoughts did you write down what it was what you thought it was and i'm still seeing the top of the piston dest destructed itself or it didn't have an air filter in it too, so it could have drawn something in that caused it to get chomped up. <clears throat> I wonder if these are the same engines. Seems a little bigger though, that the weed whackers use. They, they make a four stroke weed whacker too, and I have a couple of those, I think, laying around that worst case, we can kind of steal parts from it. But I think the piston's smaller on those. Maybe not. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves though, huh? Very well giving your hands a workout. That Loctite stuff. Sometimes you can put heat on Certain Loctites respond differently. Some you can put some heat on and it, and it re releases. I wouldn't think this would be the case because this has a lot of heat. <clears throat> Okay. Gotta put it in a vise and give her all I got. Should put that bit in there. I don't think we're gonna have enough room. Yeah. That's the problem. So on such an angle that if I go to do anything with that, it's just gonna rip out. So let's go give her. Now that it's not wanting to wiggle around on me. Here we go. One more. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta make the sound effects when you're doing stuff like that. It helps, it does. Kinda like when you hit your finger with a hammer and you swear. Makes you feel better. All right, let's go back you up a little bit. I'll pop this cylinder head off. Okay, last chance to write down what you think it is. Going in. Ha! I was right. <laughs> it looks like. Uh, it's even get more interesting. Like what? What would you see? So, I was right about the top of the piston and the ring breaking loose. There it is. Not allowing to go over top dead center. Looking a little weird though. I don't know if it's supposed to be missing that much of the skirt on that side. There goes that just fell off. Yeah. It's missing a whole half of the piston. The rod's all hammered too. I mean the uh, the wrist pin keeper, because there's not there's not even anything holding the ring. That bottom ring, that oil ring, just floating it looks like. Yeah, it's not even holding the ring on there. Well, there's your problem. I would think all the junk went down inside the crankcase too, you know? All the rest of, the rest of that must be down inside there. Man, the thing must have made a ton of noise. But why did it do what it did? I mean, it had oil in it and the oil was dirty. Never know. It could have been run low on oil. Here's the bits. Hmm. Get a rag and wipe some of that off. Let's go rinse this and break clean. What if that top bearing is? Well, the top bearing feels good. I don't know if it has anything that holds it in place. A little cap on the end of that just came out. Could we just push that right out of there? I think it'd be retained by something, right? I do see a pin. It looks like a pin right there. There it goes. So it just has like little. I think that's rubber. Might be. 
little caps on the end of it. Yeah. Now they're just little bosses. I thought there was something I probably located it. Let's go take it. We'll get a pan. We'll shake it upside down to make guts come out of it. Let's spin it first, see what how the rest of it feels. Camp shafts are working. These are the two rockers for the uh, intake and exhaust valve. Hmm. The rod doesn't feel bad. Alright. <laughs> Let's uh yeah, shake the guts out of it so you can find any little bits that can come out of the bottom. Think we'll get anything? I would think so. Get muck. <laughs> there we go. Nope, that was the rockers. <laughs> False alarm. Yeah, that was them falling off there. All those parts had to go somewhere, right? And you would think that, you know, being a four-stroke, it doesn't exchange the, the pulse from the bottom of the engine. Two strokes use the bottom of the crankcase for the air fuel charge. And four strokes just use the top. So you would think anything above the surface, you can see going up into the combustion chamber and going out the exhaust, but all these pieces, it's not going to get past the rings and over to the top of it. So I think it has to be in there somewhere. Something just made noise. Something made, right there. There's a chunk of, there's a chunk of wall. More than that though. We could split it. You know what I want to do real quick, though? Let, ooh, what's that? What do we got there? <laughs> Hold on. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Ah, that's the uh, expander that goes under probably the oil ring. Or it's the oil ring itself. That's yeah, the expander that goes behind the ring or in between. So that went right there like that in between the two halves of the uh, oil ring there should be two pieces here let's see yeah <laughs> it's funny yeah so that was stacked like that and it keeps the two of them separate from each other all right let's go Hopefully I have those here too. The little uh, four stroker weed whacker jobs. And we'll bring them down real quick. We'll see if that piston is roughly the same size and maybe we can steal parts and try to make one of these. If not, then we'll just split the case and see what we got. Well, this is one of the crappy ones that was up there. I have a feeling it's gonna be a smaller step. Of course the, let's get it orientated correctly. So what will it look like? Something like Well, this only has an output on one side, so it would be like that without this. So the crankcase is totally different. This one's split on a 45. This one splits down the center of it. And what about the cylinder head? Does that look anything like what we got? It looks smaller, right? That valve, that valve cover does not look like it's the same size. Let's go pop that valve cover off real quick. Actually, it would be like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Actually, where's the one that we took off? Where'd that go? Let's just go buzz that one off. Uh, yeah, they're not the same size. So this is going to be a smaller displacement and not be what we need. But, it's always a but. 
There was one more up there. That was more complete. We'll see if that one works. In the stash. What has that one got to offer? It's heavier. It's got that funky pull start thing that you put the little electric motor on. Yeah, let's go bring that one down real quick. I think I see right away, this spark plug almost goes straight up and down, or straight out I should say. And this one's kicking out on an angle. Go in that direction. Let's get some plastic out of our way and we'll see what we have, a better look. It's like a totally different setup, huh? Where's that other cylinder head? Yeah, that one's thinner going across than that. Huh. Wasn't for not wanting to try. I'm trying to think if we could use that whole assembly. Would that whole assembly be the same? Let's go grab the gas tank and carburetor out of our way yeah that one's got the same like on a 45 crankcase that the little one did and we are still you know, dealing with this style which would let's get our orientation correct again uh, like that like that pull starts on that side so we have oil fills on the other side One thing I wonder, again, now it's just for the challenge, it's not for the longevity of repairing, because these are essentially the throwaway machines. Let's go and take the cylinder head. That one's much shorter too, huh? Yeah, it's not gonna fly. So much differences between the two of them. I say we could steal the piston out of the other one if we could put this one together. Let's go see what that even looks like. Let me go clean that. Yeah, let's see what we got. It's pretty cooked. That wall is chewed up, especially right, right there. That's where that piston was all busted up, and it, my skirt was just kind of chopping. So I'm curious, like, why it failed, though. I don't know what. I can see where it hammered the top of that ring. Bunch of times. I don't know if I can get you, get you in the light or not. There you go. Yeah. Overheated, maybe. The thing is, it's a big fan. You know, it on a leaf blower, it uses the fan that blows air to draw air across the uh, jug to cool it, whereas like you see on a weed whacker, they'll have to build a fan for it and then have air kind of draw with the plastic shroud blow across the cylinder head and uses that. So I wouldn't think it would starve for air. Let's take a quick look over here at this mess. And usually there's a port, might be like that port right there, that pumps the air across the top of the cylinder head. Weed whackers are a dime a dozen. I, I see them in the trash all the time. I'd rather have a, a functioning leaf blower. What I'm trying to get to, not that I need one, but they're just more valuable. Well, weed whackers, they're, again, they're not much value to them. So I'm going to go take a few minutes. I'm going to go tear it down. And if I find anything interesting, I'll bring you back when I have the piston out or towards the piston. We'll take a look at it just in case there's a possibility that we can use it. Let's see what we get. It's always one, right? 
that goofy angle that you can't get it. Will our friend little vice grips get her to go? There it goes. A ton of Loctite on that. Fighting it. We should be able to get it with the screwdriver now. There we go. <laughs> if I didn't strip it out, we would bigger. Think we stand a chance? You wouldn't think they would design so many parts so different. They would try to use some stuff over, right? Could be even a totally different manufacturer, just their name on it though. Got a rubber o ring for a gasket on the bottom, the other one didn't have that. Come on, come on. Uh, maybe. Where's the old one? What'd you do with it? Where's our pistillon? I think it is a hair. I think it's a little bigger. Ah, oh, we were so close. <laughs> yeah. It is about 10%, not even 5% bigger. <laughs> we were close. Actually, here's the jug of the one that we want to save. Yeah, this is gonna be too too sloppy in the hole. <laughs> oh well. Let's go a quick look at the two cylinder heads. This one we just took off. Yeah, you can even see the bore. This one's a little bit bigger. Bolt pattern's different. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to swap too much stuff around to get them to work. Ladies and gentlemen, not for lack of trying. <laughs> I still don't know why it failed. Let me get you out of there. I still don't know why it failed. What the issue is what with it. Again, we saw no air cleaner in it. My thought is probably the air cleaner got dirty. It wouldn't run anymore. They took the air cleaner out of it and then continued to use it. Maybe sucked in dirt. Hey, let's go split that open. Why not? <laughs> Putting up a fight. I wonder if it's left-handed thread. Right-handed thread? Left-handed thread? Right-handed thread? Reverse thread? Well, it depends how you're looking at it, right? Let's go the other way. Nah, because it's loose. They like their Loctite, that's for sure. Yeah, I think it was on there.
Fermo. I think the gasket's gonna stop us. That peeled away. The roller bearings for the crank, I do not see any bits and pieces. I think I see one. Let's see. Alright, there's a piece of the A couple of pieces in there. Is that one? I'll just grab it with your finger. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it did any damage to the to the bottom end flopping around. The dipper is still there. This is a dipper slinger. This is what flings the oil around. So this oil, this crankcase probably sits with oil probably about right to there. And then as this thing is spinning, this dipper goes down into the oil and slings it and splashes it around and oils the uh, bits and pieces that need oil. Just yet the RPMs that it's at. I don't see anything. And that one chunk, it's probably the last bit of it, I'm sure. There's another one right there. I think that's it, some right there, right? Oh yeah, there's a big chunk. <laughs> well, there you go. How about that one? So I would have had to come apart anyway to get all those little bits out of there. I'm surprised there's so much webbing down inside here. So it kept it from falling back out again. The only thing we got left is a little... <laughs> a little camshaft set up. A different size. Apparently. Are they just boogered out? Well, I get the feeling they're boogered out without even us touching them. That's not it. That's not it. There's gotta be a size in between the two of those. You. You're it. Yeah. She's still sloppy. Give her a shot, see what happens. What do we care? It's junk, right? Yeah, you lost your timing. <laughs> Does that have like a little advance on it? Like, what is this wheel? What's this? Look at that. It's got like a little advance to it. I didn't expect to see that. Let's go pick that out of there. I think that's what it is, right? Or is it? Oh, it feels like there's a little spring clip to it. I'm going to push those out. There it goes. Here's something I didn't expect to see. Whatever that is. What do you think that does? Nothing for ignition. Who wouldn't advance ignition? 
So the yeah, so it is the gear separate from that? I don't think so. Is this all one piece? Because the gear is directly locked into that, and this is the cam that the two the rockers for the the lifters are going. You see how the oblong part of it? Hmm. I don't know. No, it's not a. I thought it was like a variable valve timing, which would have been kind of a, pretty slick for this, huh? I'm trying to see if that cam moves separate of it. I think it's all one piece. I'm gonna go uh, clean up on a wire wheel real quick. I want to take a look at it. Yeah, I think it's all one piece. So we'll give it a couple of love taps and just see if it moves down. It looks to be one piece though. Doesn't that seem like it's two differently two different cast surfaces though? No no wait. I think a gap is appearing. I think a gap's appearing in there. Let's go tap it a little more. If it was uh, some kind of advance, I think it's frozen. I think it was stuck in place. Yeah, it's definitely coming out of there. Yeah, that's what I think it was. I think it was a cam. So that the sprocket and this are not tied together. I wonder if this is holding it, whatever this is right here. Looks like a, a crimp of sorts, doesn't it? Something would have to hold it together. Let's go bust it free. I'm going to get a punch that fits in there better and stop dropping it. See. I would think this surface would go with it, right? There it goes. Right, what do we got? We got crap is what we got. But there's no play. There's no play between that. Like that would have to be an area where it can slip, right? That would have to be able to, to shift like that. And I don't see that happening. I don't know what all that funky stuff is for. So I'm gonna leave it up to you to let me know what your thoughts are on that. I don't know. And if I had a little bit, cause it looks like, a, you know, at first I thought that's what it was doing. You rev it up and slow it down, it would kind of change the cam timing, but now it's all locked together. <laughs> well guys, I think we did our damage for today. We had definitely have piles of junk everywhere. I'm gonna steal some good pieces. I'll take the pull starts and some other stuff and hold on to them, probably the carbs and maybe that, that flex tube. I can go put that on another machine. That's a common thing that fails on them. But the rest of it is gonna go get chucked in the trash and uh, I don't know. I, I, my guess is that it ran, it started, the air cleaner got dirty. They took the air filter off it. They kept running it and then just kind of maybe sucked up some debris or gravel. You know, it's a leaf blower. So you're digging up, you're blowing up a bunch of crap on the ground and you know, possibly suck something up that took it out. But generally, it's a, when that happens, it's much more of like a, a locked up scorn piston, not a broken piston like that. Usually it just seizes up. The, the cylinder walls get so crappy that the uh, piston will just lock up on the walls. Not busting the aluminum apart. Could be just a, you know, a flaw in how it was made. So if you want to make your opinion, what you think happened to it, feel free to write it down. And uh, maybe somebody has the answer to it that I'm not aware of. Well, the free piles are going to be starting up again pretty soon. It is springtime, so everybody tries taking their stuff out and they left it with old gas in it and they don't run and then they throw them away and they buy new ones. And we come along with a truck, throw it in the back of the truck and we bring it back here and we see if we can revive it. I don't think this one, I tried, I tried. If that pistol was going to fit, I was going to go try putting it back together and firing it up, but it just wasn't in the cards. All right, guys, I'm babbling. Well, thank you all for hanging out with me, doing some wrenching. And uh, we'll do it again soon. Till then. Later.